All right, so there's a new EYG setup. Uh, you can do it in either five or three. I would recommend learning it in five and then doing it in three, because three is about nine or 10 seconds faster, but it's you have to manipulate the stews, uh, and they're a lot easier to manipulate in five because they're a lot slower and they're bigger. I guess that's why they're slower. But yeah, learn it in five and then apply what you learn there to three, because uh, three can get kind of hectic at times. So uh, yeah, you're gonna, Want to gonna want to take the easy route first before you take the high road, or the hard road. Uh, so we're gonna go into five here, and I'm gonna show you how the general idea works. Uh, I believe Zelpika was the one who actually found how to clip through here, and then I kind of optimized it a bit uh, to get it to be a little faster. So first, we're gonna want to get uh, Yoshi's fruit. He wanted a papaya. Get that to him. Everything so far same as regular EYG. And then get our other or our other papaya here. Also notice what I did there. I waited as soon as it came out of the ground. I kept spraying, but I did not move anymore. So that as soon as it would fall into my juice, it would get shot out towards the tree. That's the best way to hit the papaya right there. It goes pretty far and it gets about to where you want it. So now we're gonna eat the durian. And there are two things we need to do now. One is throw the papaya past the loading zone. Uh, it actually doesn't even need to be past. It just needs to be close enough for us to eat it. Uh, from the other side of the loading zone. And the other thing is we're going to need to aggro the stews. Now in pin of 5, you should probably aggro the stews first because they are slow. So you're going to need to get them going quicker in order to save time, like I do here. And then as soon as we do that, jump off Yoshi and grab the papaya and just kind of throw it past the loading zone like I do here. Get back on Yoshi. And then lead the two stews over to the corner. Uh, there's a little corner uh, in the... There's a pillar next to the door. You're going to need to stand next to the corner there. And one of them will ground pound you, as you're about to see. And as soon as he gets over you, before he even does any animation, he's going to ground pound you, so you don't have to wait for anything. Just as soon as he's over you, you can start doing your little turning maneuver to get the correct angle to spray him. And so I'm going to show that off here. Ground pound... All right, now he's gonna do three little flutters up. Well, he's gonna do a bunch of flutters to like gain height. After the third flutter, that's when we want to spray him because that's when he's at the correct height to be able to use his platform. Because the way we're gonna clip through is we're gonna face perpendicular to the wall and sidestep to the left uh, through Yoshi's platform. I don't know why Yoshi's platforms are kind of weird like that and you can clip through them. But then that will also allow us to clip through the pillar and get past the loading zone. So that's going to happen here. Uh, now, what happened there with the second stew was he ground pounded again. If It's better if he doesn't because it wastes maybe three or four seconds for him to come up again after he ground pounds. And so if he does ground pound, you can get like a 229 segment, which is still good, but you can do better. So try not to have him ground pound. And then also I kind of clipped out of the wall there into the little step. But if that happens, don't worry, just go out of side step mode and then just run to the left and you'll be okay. And if he does ground pound also, you're going to have to wait for him near the wall or else he'll de-aggro. So wait for him near the wall. As soon as he sees aggro on you again, then uh, you can walk back and get in position. And then just spray him, eat your papaya as I did, and then you're well on your way to the carousel. And then you know you had a pretty good segment if this uh, the loading zone is right in the middle there as you get there. That's about like a 229 segment. Uh, the farther left it is, the better. And that'll that'll come into play in the pin of three version that I'm about to do. So pin of three is harder, I said before, because the stews are a lot faster, and because so, you need to do the same thing with manipulating their aggro there, but there there's a lot less time to do it because they're so fast. So starting off, same thing, just get Yoshi's fruit. Although in three, there's no sunflowers in front of him, so it's easier to see his fruit, which is good. I believe it's papaya again in this case. Uh, and uh, see, I'll, I'll get hit a couple times here. And um, keep note of that, because I'll show that it's still even faster, even though I got hit three times. It's still faster than what I did in pin of five. All right, so we got our papaya there. We got our durian. I, I usually try not to aggro the stews while I'm throwing the papaya, but I accidentally did there, although it's not the end of the world, uh, as you can see, because I still get it here even though I already aggroed them. So aggro that one stew, aggro the other stew. And what I'm going to do here is jump, do a little flutter to make one of them stop. 
So I'll let you deal with one near the corner, and then I wait for the, that one near the corner to do his three flutters, spray him, sidestep through the platform like I did before, and then uh, have the other stew follow me. Uh, so basically, uh, same thing, just stews are faster, so it's a little more annoying. Uh, sometimes also they'll both be in the corner there, they'll both ground pound you. You can still do it there, just you'll have to spray the one that's farther to the left, but it's a little harder to do because you can accidentally spray both of them sometimes, which is not great. Uh, but so here, uh, I've done the whole clip through whatever, just waiting for the other one to follow me. He's following me, do my ground pound spray maneuver that I saw as LP could do in his task. And well on our way to the carousel. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but Zilpiku did find the method of uh, clipping through the gate there. I just optimized it a bit to make it a little faster because his method was about fifth or sixth cycle speed. And so see there, I had a bunch of mistakes. I even took me a while to get off the platform and I was still there earlier than I was in the Pinna 5 version. And so now I'm going to see if I can get a pretty good run going just to show what it all looks like, uh, all put together uh, in a clean run where I get a 219 segment. One thing that actually happened here that was pretty fortunate was one of the stews from earlier was still aggroed on me, so I could use him uh, instead of having to aggro both the stews that were closest to the boat. Um, that's always useful because uh, sometimes both the stews don't want to aggro on you, so yeah, it's easier just to have one. And then as you can see, the uh, loading zone is all the way on the other side of the carousel, so this is definitely a lot faster than Pinna 5. And then the way to calculate the segment based on this uh, just kind of IL is add a second for the shine scroll, and then add about 30 seconds for the level transition. And that should bring the final time, which will be a 149 up to a, or I'm sorry, a, yeah, a 148 up to a 219. 